Hi there, I'm doing a part two on my craft room because there's quite a few things I forgot to show you when I looked through the video after I'd done it. I forgot to take you under my desk. So I've got the desk there and underneath I've got a box full of uh, recycled, recycled card. Under the table there's a big bean bag, uh, well a bag full of beans, bean bag beans. Um, in this box I've got scarves and things that you might be able to use in journal somewhere uh, and it's a box full of greetings cards because I always save my greetings cards but I did sort through recently and kind of um, condensed them down into this box because I do want to make some kind of an album with them at some point uh, I'll show, in a minute I'll show you one that I've done with greetings cards that the kids made me when they were at school when they were little so that's uh, the type of thing I'm going to do there's my bin which is exciting the pedal off my sewing machine and here I've just got some paper pads um, these are from those of you in the UK will probably recognise them they're from uh, a store called The Works and you can buy these for £3 and they do quite a, a variety not always in the shops, but you can get them online and then collect them in store if you if you want to, to save on postage. They're quite good. Um, so these are the ones I've got, but there are others available, I think. And they do smaller ones as well. And they're all double-sided. It's good quality. That's just like a desk, um, a desk planner that I picked up cheap, and I can just use that as pages sometimes. Um, and then around here, under uh, under my sorry, under my chair. Oh, there's my chair. That's where I sit when I'm at my desk. And then under this chair here in the corner, I've got a box full of just loads of bits of scrap paper, which I never get around to using. And here I've got some of my books book pages, gutted books and book pages um, I recently got this one which a lot of you I know have already got as well which has got lovely illustrations in it just some kind of bog standard um, I think this one's vintage Madame Pompidou this one's quite old. Oh, it's poetry. Um, these are quite old. Some Shakespeare. And more Shakespeare. And this is an old. This is a, actually a magazine, but it looks like a book. And this is from, I believe. Um. 1946, if you can focus that there, if you can see. I can't get it in focus. There it is. November 1946, my garden. One shilling and sixpence. Old money, as we say in the UK. And that's just got some gardening images. It's got lots of little adverts in it as well, which is quite handy sometimes to use and then I've got here a little French dictionary that I bought online very old very delicate it's got very little delicate pages I've used a few of them to make um, you know, making tags and things it's got a little inscription on the front as well, which I always find quite interesting. This is, um, oh, it's a lady's name and address. Um, oh, it's falling apart. Poor book. So, yeah, it's a lady's name and address. Elsie, who, lives in Scunth who lived in Scunthorpe in Lincolnshire. And it's a little inscription that says, uh, If this book I have... If this book I lose, 
if this book you find, Remember Elsie, is the name. And Arand goes behind. I think that's her surname, Arand. Okay. It's a cute little book. Uh, anything else on this level that I missed before? I don't think so. Just boxes full of stuff. <laughs> I mean, any of you who've got a craft room will know what happens. Oh yeah, I'll show you what I'm hoping to do with them. Um, all the greetings cards that I've got. I've got one here. I made. This is made entirely from things. Um, so it's like a little pocket that one of my daughters had a card in that she made for me when she was in primary school. The best mum in the world. So I used the little bag that she'd made to make the cover. Just got some cardboard inside. And then inside it I just... Handmade cards that the kids have made. My three kids just done them all separately. Just um, stuck them all in with washi tape and glue. So each card is separate and you can just open it up and have a look. Um, yeah, and on the back is one there. And so it's just, um, yeah, washi and glue and a little bit of easy twine binding just to give them a bit of extra so I'm hoping to do that with some um, you know other greetings cards just ones from special occasions not everyone because you couldn't you couldn't possibly do that but um, you know like uh, I don't know Mother's Day uh, special birthdays things like that okay so that's part two of my craft room hope you've enjoyed it